Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And today let's talk about balancing a rod. Uh, and why it's important and why some people don't think it's important. I mean, not everybody's in agreement about this. But generally speaking, the way to think about it is if you've got an eight foot long two by four and you pick it up by the middle at the center of gravity, no problem, pick it up one hand, no trouble. Now go to the end of the two by four and try to pick it up with one hand just by the end. Way different proposition. You have to have a pretty strong wrist to be able to pick that two by four off, off the ground by picking it up from the end with one hand. So this is the, the principle that's going on here is trying to hold something by the balance point reduces fatigue, reduces weight. So I have my Eight, eight, not sorry, nine foot eight weight NRX Plus, Lumis NRX Plus rod. I've got uh, a Danielson um, 6 9 on here, and I want to see where it balances. Right about there. Now, that's where my thumb goes. So, what that basically means, and my forefinger is right about there as well. So what that means, that balance point is just around in here where my forefinger and thumb goes. So it means when I'm casting this rod, I'm holding it by the center of the gravity. And when I hold something by the center of gravity, it feels the lightest and the easiest to cast, or easiest to pick up, whatever it happens to be. So a rod like this, if I had too light a reel on it, would be tip heavy and would balance out here in the blank. And what that does is it makes uh, your uh, wrist feel fatigue after a while, and you know your thumb will get sore. A long day casting, you'll notice it. You won't notice it after over 10 minutes of casting, but be out out uh, on the ocean casting for uh, a full day, you'll know it. The other thing is if the reel is too heavy, and so the balance point is down in here somewhere, then it, the reel wants to sort of take over when you're casting, and you're feeling this uh, pendulum effect of the reel on the bottom of the rod. So if the balance point's too far up the blank, it's hard on the hand, and if it's too far down the bottom of the handle, it's uh, going to give you some problems with, as I say, that pendulum effect from the reel. So what's ideal is to find that balance point somewhere close to where your thumb and your forefinger goes. And that applies to two-handed rods as well as single-handed rods. In a single, a top, a dual, sorry, a two-handed rod, it's your upper hand that you're concerned with, because that's where a, a lot of the pivoting is going on when you're casting. So keep that in mind, and, and the reason why it's important is to reduce fatigue, and it also makes the rod feel light. You pick it up by the balance point, it feels very light. You pick it up, if the balance point's out here, when you pick it up, it feels heavy. So if I pick it up from this point here, it feels heavy. So you're picking it up from the balance point, it feels a lot lighter. So that's the sort of thing out here, that reel, it's, you know, you can feel the weight of the reel. So that's why it becomes important to reduce fatigue and also to, you know, to give the rod, be, keep the rod in its lightest state, basically, is by holding it through the center of gravity. I mean, it, it, you know, NRX Plus is, probably one of the lightest rods on the market. Beautifully light to cast, but if you put a ridiculously light reel on this thing, it's going to feel heavy. And it's not the rod's fault, it's the balance point's fault. So if you're going to go out to a store, you want to pick a reel that is the right size for the rod. So this uh, 6.9 Danielson is ideal. So normally for a rod like this, you'd put, pick a 7.8 reel. And uh, that usually is enough to get you in the ballpark and so you want to avoid using too big a reel or too small a reel on a rod like this. So as, as long as you keep things proportioned, you'll get the right balance. So keep that in mind. Balancing a rod is more than just, you know, a fun thing to do. It's, it can make a long, day, a long day very long if it's not balanced well. Cheers.